We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Oakland A's and the Houston Astros. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Popped him up. Stubbs is under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Next up for the A's, Tony Kemp. Bases are empty, one man out. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Expected to get a little cooler as we go on, but the temperature at game time, 68 degrees. Count full, three balls and two strikes. And it's fouled away. Another full count pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Striding in for Oakland, Marcus Semien, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Marcus Simeon. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. The 1 2. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 3-1. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first down. Starting in for Houston, Alex Bregman. His career numbers in this matchup, he brings a more than respectable 357 batting average. Hit sharply on the ground. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in Jose Altuve. All even now, two and two. And here's a ball hit in the air, but this will land untouched. The 2 2. Another one sent foul. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Rolanda Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olsen. Comes in 0 for 9 in the series so far, so looking to turn things around in this one. The 2-2. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. So it was a strikeout swinging. Matt Olson goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. Two and one. Takes this the other way to right. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And he'll pull into second with one away. That is good. The third base. Matt At the plate now, Matt Chapman. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two that's away that. now. The left fielder. Now batting, Chris Davis. Chris. Opportunity Davis. for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. Right. 
fouled off. Two and two. Here it is. This is hit sharply to the left side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Ah, but this is well up the line, and he's safe at home plate. Batting it. The right fielder. Steven. Into the box, Steven Piscotti. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hit in the air out to right. Reddick has a read on it, and that's the third out. Now the Astros' designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Jordan Alvarez becomes the first out here in the bottom of the second. Guriel behind a ball and two strikes. Fouled away. Swung on and chopped out to the shortstop. Throw on to first, two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And former World Series MVP George Springer bats next. Ready on one and two. Swung on and he went fishing in the dirt. Up with it, Allen. But the throw is late, so the inning will continue after the strikeout pitch gets away. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. He went deep in the contest last night. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Foul. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. Now at the plate, Austin Allen. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And it's two balls and two strikes now. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Another 2-2 offering. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Brantley is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. One gone for the A's here in the third. And up next will be Ramon Laureano. Lofted in the air out toward right center. There to take it is Reddick, and there are two gone now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And striding toward the plate to hit next, Tony Kemp. The 2-1 home. Taken, strike two. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So here's Josh Reddick. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. 
Two and two. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Two two pitches fouled away. A big swing from Reddick as this ball is launched out to deep right field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Into the box, Garrett Stubbs. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 1 1 home. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. And there's the first hit of the game for Houston. The left fielder, number 23. Into the box now. Michael Brantley. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Now the 2 1 pitch. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Now batting. Third base man. In now, Alex Bregman. Weighing inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here's the 2-1. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And the tying run comes around to score from second. It's one to one. Now batter, the designated hitter, Jordan. At the plate, Jordan Alvarez. Three. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Yeah. Digging in to try it again, Marcus Semyon, as we begin the top of the fourth. A shortstop behind with a one and two count. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he fouls this one off. And this is swung on and missed in this fourth inning. We'll start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout. And there's one away. The first baseman, Matt Olson. One and two now as that one's fouled off. This year against right-handed pitching, Olson brings in a batting average resting just under 320. And the look to inch closer to that mark with a base hit here. You want to talk about having a career season, okay. Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Now batting, the third base Matt Chapman. Stepping in now, Matt Chapman. Nope. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Full count now, three and two. Well, I think this is the kind of approach they need against such a prolific starter. You can't count on putting up a lot of runs, so getting him out of the game has to be the priority. Working at bats, full counts, running up the pitch count is a great way of doing that. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Cuban import Yuli Guriel. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 2 1. 
Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Back up the middle. Scooped up. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. So one away here with the bases empty. And that brings in George Springer. High and wide. Two balls and a strike. Back up the middle. Reined in. And that's the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And the former number one overall pick in American League Rookie of the Year, Carlos Correa, bats next. And that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. Now batting. The right field. Yeah. To the plate now, Josh Reddick. Swing and a ground ball to third. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Now to the plate, Chris Davis. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Right down the middle with a changeup, but not what he was looking for, taken for a strike. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, the outfielder, Steven Piscotti. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. The batter. Now at the plate, Austin Allen, Allen comes into Allen. this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Next up for the Strohs, Garrett Stubbs. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Lines softly toward the hole. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. So the Houston lineup turns over, and to the plate, Michael Brantley. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. One and one, here it comes. One run, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Hit down the third baseline. Chapman has it cleanly. And there are two away now. In now, Alex Bregman. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. No contact there, and it's 1 and 2. Hey, with two outs in the number 2 hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. Skied into straightaway right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Ramon Laureano. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now the 2-1. One. 
will not catch the zone ball three well ball three and listen the Oakland A's right now would love to get this leadoff guy on any way they could they would love a leadoff walk slow little grounder left side throw to first gets him so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth so one gone for the A's in their half of the sixth and striding toward the plate to hit next Tony Kemp the 2 1 bat explodes as this has popped up in time to first and there are two away Stepping in, Marcus Semien. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. Mike Fires enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Stepping in, Jose Altuve, one for two. He grounded out first time up and followed that with a base hit. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Striding forward now is the D.H. Jorgan Alvarez. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. And a curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take, and it's to two and one now. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at-bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. So digging in now, Yuli Gurriel. No hits to this point. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Fires playing here in his age 34 season. He was taken in the 22nd round back in the 2009 MLB draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. And it's fouled away. Now another 2-2. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. There's a swing, and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. Davis is back to the track as he takes it for out number two. George Springer the next to hit. The center fielder, number four. Alvarez, George. runner at first with two gone. Springer. Popped him up. Olsen has got it, and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway. So here's the Oakland cleanup batter, Matt Olson. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. You see there, the pitch count is up to 88. And at this point in the game, that's a good place to be. So I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Locked him up with the off speed now stuff that, on that one. Matt that Olson is retired to start out the seven. One and two. Obviously, he's not fatiguing whatsoever. Still in the mid to high 90s with his fastball. These guys got to stay on the attack if they're going to have a chance. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Mark Hanna is the second out in the seventh inning. 
bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Oh, what a dive. Safe. Almost a remarkable play, but now the potential lead run is aboard at first. The left fielder, number two, Chris Davis. At the plate now, Chris Davis. One and two now. And he's going to add to the total. 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Carlos Correa now. One for two in the ball game thus far. Now the three and two pitch. Locks him up for strike three. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. 0 for two for him to this point. One run, four hits. No errors in the ball game for the Astros to this point. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And they have taken the lead. Into the box now, Garrett Stubbs. A ball and two strikes now. One and two. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. A bouncer to the left side. Throw is not going to be in time to get him, and somehow he's going to wind up with an infield single. Michael Standing in now, Michael Brantley pulls this one into the air out into right field. Piscotti is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Standing in, Stephen Piscotti, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. The 2-1 home. And strike two swinging. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's veal is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Striding in, Austin Allen. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Brantley on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. So the lineup flips over and digging in Ramon Laureano. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Line hard. But this is a foul ball. Swing and a miss and that ends the inning. Meryl Petit is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of the inning now. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Now the three and two pitch. Hits this one hard the other way. And that's a base hit. So a chance for some important insurance here to kick off the bottom of the eighth. The batter, number 24, designated hitter, Jordan. At the plate, Alvarez. Jordan Alvarez. A ball and two strikes. Two strikes. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Now batter, first base. Digging in, Yuli Buriel. 
He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this AB. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. And this will kick off the wall out near the 315 sign. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. The center fielder, number four, Joel Springer. Stepping in now, George Springer. Too high, and that cost him ball four. Lou Trevino was called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Carlos Correa will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. Now the 2-1. Nope. Gotta love a late rally, and listen to this crowd now. They are really into this. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. The 3 2 pitch fouled off. Once again, a 3 2. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Digging in now, Josh Reddick. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Yeah, man, going back to that last at-bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone, so if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Grounder down the line at third. But well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Roberto Ozuna comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. Coming to the plate now, Tony Kemp. Tough situation. Down one here on the road, trying to score off one of the game's top closers. They've got the work cut out for him. Fouled away. Again, a one-two. Oh, and that runs in and gets him. So now the potential tying run is aboard to lead off the inning. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Now with the plate, Marcus Simeon. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Mateo's off and running. Strike called. Now the throw down. The throw is low, and he can't make the pick. Oh. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. But this is taken in on the warning track as the runner will tag from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Stepping into the box, Matt Olson, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. The 2-2. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Brantley going back. A leap, but it's off his glove. Not quite out of here. It's off the out-of-town scoreboard.
And they'll tie the ball game as the run scores, evening things at two. So now to the plate, Mark Hanna in the dirt. And now let's see. Throw goes to third. And he is in there at third as the possible go-ahead score. Here's the 2-2 pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. It's out of here, and they've taken the lead in the ninth. Santa Maria. Brad Peacock enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. Number 41. Into the box, Matt Chapman. That explodes as this has popped up. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Chris Davis next to bat. Three runs already home here. Popped him up. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Liam Hendricks is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. So striding forward now, Garrett Stubbs. A hey, not an easy thing to do to try to come back and tie a game or take the lead off of a guy like this, one of the game's elite closers. Here now the 2-2. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Standing in, Michael Brantley. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Now the one-and-one one pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. The one-two pitch. Softly hit out towards short. On to first, and now the Astros are up against it, down to their final out now. Up next to the Astros. Stepping up the to the plate, Bregman. Alex Bregman. Alex. And he needs to make something Alex. happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. The 1-1 home. It's a fastball that misses. You have to find a way in this situation to look in that on-deck circle and find a way to get your best hitter to the plate with a chance to tie and this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Now batter. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Last strike now for Houston. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. Ground ball left side. Simeon's there. Oh, but the feet of the second baseman is a wild one. At the plate now, Jordan Alvarez. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Hard hit ball to second. Go on to first. He'll be in time to take care of him. And the A's have bounced back from losing the opener to take games two and three of this series as this one is over. Four to two the final score tonight. Oakland used a three-run ninth to help propel them to the win.
Lou Trevino earns his third win of the year in relief. Liam Hendricks wraps it up for the save, his 17th on the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious athletic. Four runs on six hits. One error. They left three men on base. For the Astros, two runs, nine hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 45 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please... Drive home safely.